GPT-4, it can do arithmetic. They are an engineering hack that's put together. They are not following some deep model of mind or some deep philosophical right. theory about how human intelligence is, or, or indeed some deep cognitive science theory of human intelligence. Um, they are a technological hack. I mean, there is a big question mark around whether um, what large language models are doing is doing those things or whether they're doing something that looks like pattern recognition. So arithmetic, I'll concede you probably now is, is a solved problem. But there's a huge body of work looking at whether these things can actually solve problems that are not just variations of something they've already seen in their training data. And the question of, is it really originally solving a problem versus just doing pattern recognition? At the moment, that's one of the big questions and the jury is very much out on that. And the weight of evidence at the moment is they are not doing problem solving. They are doing something which is much more like pattern recognition. So let me give you an example Please, to yes. illustrate this. Um, so uh, in AI, we've long been concerned with problem solving and planning. And planning is, is the process of here is some goal I want to achieve. Here is where I start out. And here are some uh, choices available to you, some actions that you can perform that will transform the world. How do I organize those actions, those actions to transform me from where I am to my goal? Absolutely fundamental AI capability that people have been looking at for uh, for well over half a century. So, can large language models do planning? At first sight, people got very excited because it appeared that they could. You can plan we, a trip, like they seem exactly. Like, yeah. But uh, on closer inspection, suppose you do the following. Um, suppose you obfuscate all the terms that are being used in your in your plan. So you don't use words that it's familiar with, right. but you express a problem, the same problem, right? Uh, yes. Using terms that you know that it will not have appeared in the training data. Can it then solve the problem? Now I emphasize, it's the same problem, right. you're just using words it's never seen before. And no, at the moment the answer is no, it can't. So it can't originally solve problems. We can, we can do that. We have problem solving capabilities. So that suggests that when it can, when it's looking at planning a trip, it's seen thousands of trip planning guides and trip agendas and so on, and it's doing pattern matching to pick up on that uh, and help you plan right. the trip. But is it actually planning from per first principles how to organize right. those various actions to plan the trip? Right. So at the moment, I say, at the moment, uh, the weight of evidence is that it's not capable of doing uh, logical reasoning or problem solving, those kinds of things, not in a deep way. That doesn't mean it's not useful. That doesn't mean you can't use it to help plan a trip. It can be used in those ways. But is it actually doing those things from first principle? The weight of evidence at the moment is no. Right. And is your intuition that not only are these capacities not there, but it's, a, it's an architecture issue that we can't expect to get logical reasoning just by increasing the orders of magnitudes of data we throw at it from here. Because fundamentally, what it's doing, right, for these LLMs is just next word prediction. Yeah. So is that the issue that you're, that you're just, is that the deeper issue you're, you're just right now? So that's what transformers were designed for, next word prediction. And the surprising thing was how useful and impressive that turned out to be if you were prepared to throw enough data and compute power at it. Um, but I see no reason to believe that that the transformer architecture is the key, for example, to robotic AI. Right. That's not what it was designed for. So I don't see why it or should be. Or logical reasoning. Or what? logical reasoning, necessarily. I mean, again, that's not what it was designed for. But I emphasize that doesn't mean it's not useful. And I'm as dazzled as anybody when I use when I use this technology. And I am you know, daily taken by surprise when people show me look, the really remarkable things that it can do. Um, and I have to say, you know, we've gone, this is really genuinely, I think, uh, a watershed moment in AI history because we've gone from a period where a lot of questions in AI were purely philosophical questions. They were literally reserved for philosophers until a few years ago. Uh, and suddenly it's experimental science. You know, uh, are large language models conscious? Well, let's roll up our sleeves and do some experiments and find out, no, by the way, they're not. Uh, but we, you know, the, these are now practical, hands-on right. questions. And to have gone from not having anything in the world that you could right. apply those questions to, to this being actual, practical, hands-on, experimental science in just a few years right. is mind-boggling. 